Hmm. Yes. No. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Hey everybody, Teching here. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. Uh, I, I, as you could probably tell from the title, I am looking for an artist to help me out design some of the thumbnails on my channel. Uh, this is going to be a video basically explaining to you, aspiring artist, uh, what I need and uh, you know the exact ground rules for this because uh, uh, you know, under normal circumstances, I would have just posted this on my fan page or something on Twitter, like, hey guys, I'm looking for an artist, you know, comment below if you're in. But uh, I've tried that before, uh, it didn't usually work out too well, so um, I, 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 I want this to be a serious thing. Like, this is not just, hey, I'm going to be helping teching out with this as a fan. No, this is going to be like a serious kind of business relationship here. So I'm making this video uh, to just explain exactly what I need in an artist. And if anybody out there is up for the task, then, uh, you know, that's great. If not, I guess I can search for other places. But I figured I'd ask here first because, hey, you guys are my fans. Um, so, yeah, if you're not an artist, uh, you can pretty much leave. There's nothing really in this video for you unless you just like hearing me talk, which apparently is the soothing sound to many people. I don't know why, but apparently it is. Okay, well, essentially, um, I work a lot on thumbnails on my videos. You know, I, I personally think a thumbnail is a big part of any video on YouTube because it's the thing everyone sees before they even see the video. That's what you click on, right? So uh, I, I usually put a lot of work into my thumbnails. Now, I can't draw worth shit, so all the art you see in my thumbnails, that's always taken from uh, DeviantArt. And I always put, like, the attribution and the link in the description of, hey, this is where the artwork in the thumbnail is, so go check out their th DeviantArt page. So, uh, I just, you know, that's how I usually do it. Or if there's no art, I just use, you know, maybe I'll take a, an image from the chapter itself and just color it up really simple, like, you know, using the paint bucket tool just to color in the characters, and then there you go, there's the thumbnail. Um, but occasionally, I'll be wanting to make a discussion video or some sort of video about maybe another anime, and I have this, this certain idea for a thumbnail in my head, but I can't find any fan art that works for what I'm thinking of, and I, of course, as I said, I can't draw. So it would be nice to have an artist that I can go to on standby and ask, hey, can you draw this okay cool now i've attempted this before this is not the first time i've tried this uh on a few times before throughout my youtube career i've asked on like live streams hey guys i have this idea for a for a thumbnail can somebody help me out with this and it's happened twice where people have said yes i'll do that for you teching and i'm like great you know go ahead this is what i need and then we'll start talking for a little bit, and then they'll usually just drop off the face of the earth. <laughs> they'll just stop talking to me. I remember there was one time I, uh, I needed someone to do animation work uh, for uh, an, an intro I was doing on YouTube. And hey, God bless, I mean, animation work is hard. I mean, it's one of the hardest things to do on YouTube. Anybody that does, does animation and does it really well, um, it's something I can really uh, respect because I know how much work goes into it. Uh, there was a guy, I mean, uh, there's two pieces of animation work in my intro right now, one by Reiji and one by Shambhali, and it's still bad baffles me how how long it probably took to do the, do those separate animations but i asked this guy if he could help me out we were talking a little while on skype and it, it seemed like he was into it and he even sent me like a very brief you know piece of animation it, it was rukia pulling out her sword i don't want you to think like yeah a brief piece of animation yeah, gave poor music. No, but it was it was like, you know, Rukia pulling out her sword animation and it looked cool. Um, and then he just stopped messaging me out of the blue. And I sent him a message. I was like, hey, or, how's it coming, man? And no response. And I sent him another message like a week later and still no response. Finally, I just sent him a message basically like, look, if you're not into this, like if something came up, like you can't do this anymore, it's cool. Just let me know so I can go find someone else. Don't just leave me high and dry. I do not want that shit to happen again. So here are the ground rules. That was really high pitched. Here are the ground rules. Here, here is what I need exactly. Not what I want, not what maybe you can do. This is what I need if you're thinking about um, helping me out on this, if you're an aspiring artist. Okay, so number one, I need someone that's proficient in digital art. Uh, a, a few years back, there was a guy that did some fan art for me. I didn't ask him to do it. He just drew me. Uh, his name was Zompok Toe Leader, and I absolutely loved his shit. Look, look at this stuff. I mean, this is really good digital art here. Not saying traditional art, you know, like pen, uh, pen and paper. That's not good because this is still leagues above what I can do. But from what I need for to make the uh, the characters look as, as close to their animated counterparts, because that's usually what I'll be asking you to do is draw anime characters in certain poses or certain ways, or draw me like an anime character. I need something that's more like this rather than this. Both are awesome, but I need this. 
All right, so if you're not proficient in digital art, if you don't if you don't think you can do something like this on the same level or better, um, then then uh, don't even uh, don't even uh, send in an application. And not saying your art sh uh, shit, but it's just not what I need. Uh, as for Zompok Leader himself, I'm not really sure if he's still around. I haven't heard a lot from him, uh, but I just want to see what other options are out there for me. So digital art, that's a must already. Second thing is, if you uh, are interested, I want you to send me your portfolio to this email address. All right, I, I would like to see at least, like if you have a DeviantArt page or maybe uh, uh, some other, maybe if you have your own website that has your work on it, uh, I will look through that and see if you're, you know, you have what I need. Um, or if, if you don't have one of those pages, I, I would like to see at least two or three pieces of your art, you know, finished pieces of art so I can actually gauge if this is something, if, if you have the qualities that I need. Uh, so yeah, send your portfolio, uh, a link to your web page, or at least some of uh, examples of your art uh, to that email address below. Uh, next thing I need is your commission rates. You know, how much money you want to get paid for each uh, drawing, for each, uh, you know, character you're going to draw for me. Listen, this happens every time. I seriously, like, every time this has happened. Hey, Teching, don't worry about money. It's cool. It's fine. I'm doing this as a fan. No, uh-uh. We're not doing that anymore. This is going to be a business relationship. I'm going to pay you, and you're going to provide a service. You know, like how every other service in the civilized world works, you know? Um, th think of it less of, you know, you're a fan helping me out, and, you know, this is a service I'm paying for. If you're a fan of mine, that's great, but don't let that get involved here. Don't let be like, oh, cool, it's teching. Yeah, this one's on the house. No. I want to see your rates and how much you'll be charging for each image, depending on what I'm asking of you. And if um, you're not, uh, if you don't have any rates, make some. And if it's if it's agreeable with me, we can work something out. But like I said, this is going to be strictly business. This is going to be, that's how it's going to go. So, okay. Next thing, I would ask that you have a PayPal. Uh, that just makes payment way easier for that reason. Uh, you know, uh, so that's just that. Make sure you have PayPal. There's not really any alternatives I can really think of. PayPal is the easiest. So hope you have a PayPal. If you're already doing artwork, you know, um, like on DeviantArt, if you're selling artwork already, or if you have your own website, you most likely already have a PayPal. Most people do. I do. Uh, it just makes everything a lot smoother. So PayPal is a must. Uh, the next thing, and this is probably the most critical. If you accept this, I expect you to be two things. I expect you to be reliable, and I expect you to be honest with me. All right? What I mean by reliable is... I, I message you on Facebook or on Skype or something, uh, which is also, I recommend you have one of those instant messaging services. Um, Skype or Facebook would work fine. I guess, you know, let me know if there's any issue. If you don't have one or the other, I can, we can work something out, you know, regardless. Maybe we could just work through email. I would prefer social media or Skype. But anyway, um, my point is, if I message you, I expect to hear back from you within a reasonable amount of time. Okay, I don't want to have any of this message you, hey, how's the artwork coming? And then two days later, you tell me, oh, it's, you know, I'm working on it, man. No, we're not doing that. If I treat it like a business relationship, you know, you send something to your boss or your coworker, you expect to hear back in a reasonable amount of time. All right. So that's the reliable aspect. Uh, as for the honesty aspect, I just listen when I ask you, let, let's say I were and I'll give you time for this. I'm not going to just spring this on you all of a sudden like, hey, I need this piece of artwork done. I need a, a drawing of of Nell wearing her uh, new outfit and I need it in like three days. You know, exactly. I'm not I'm not going to be that much of a, you know, close, you know, to the to the deadline. I'm going to give you time because uh, usually I plan out my videos a few weeks in advance when I have like a general idea for a video. So I'll approach you and this is how it's going to go. I'm going to approach you with a design that I would like you to do. And I'll ask you, hey, can you get this done within the next week or the next two weeks? All I want from you is to be honest. If you do not 100 percent think that you can get it done within that amount of time, tell me, hey, I don't think a week's gonna be long enough. Okay, fine, two weeks. Oh, that works good. You know, something like that. You know, um, and I understand, you know, shit happens. You know, we all have family, we all have friends, we all have jobs. You know, maybe if this is, you know, maybe this is your thing, maybe you're an aspiring artist and, and you're trying to make a career out of this, that's great, but you know, shit happens. So if you if you message me, it's like, hey, teching something happened with the family, and uh, I I I just can't do your artwork. You know, I'm just I'm not. I just can't do it. Something came up, um, and, and just be honest with me. All right, don't leave me hang high and dry. Okay, that's just all I'm asking. Um, and 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 also I I'm not I'm not fucking around on that like at all. 
Like, if I send you something like, hey, can you get this done in a week, and you tell me, yeah, I'll get that done in, in a week, I expect to have it within a week, or we're done. Oh, we're done. I'm not talking to you anymore. All right? It's over. All right? Sorry, you've been voted off the island. I, I, I'm trying not to come off as a dick here, but I, all, all I want is somebody that I can rely on to do artwork for me, and I will pay them to do it, and I expect, you know, just for them to be reliable in responding to me, being honest when they say they can't do it or they can do it. That's all I want, you know? So, if, if, if all that, if you meet all that criteria and you think you're up to the task, uh, message me below at this email address with your portfolio, and uh, we'll work something out there. Uh, also, if I don't decide to go with you, don't think of it as just, you know, I don't like your artwork. It might not just be, it might be great. It just might not be what I personally am looking for. But uh, I'm getting upwards of 40,000 subscribers. It would be nice to have somebody on standby that I can ask for if I have a really complicated idea in my head. It's a little bit more professional to put out uh, artwork like this. And oh, of course, by the way, I'm going to give you shout outs. I'm going to put links to all your shit in the description if you have your own website or DeviantArt or whatever. And uh, if you do this job and you do it well, and if you meet all the criteria that I just laid out for you, and you're, you're doing this great, then I will give you these accolades. I will tell people that you are a great artist that you know delivers on your word, and I would recommend other people do business with. All right. So, like I said, if you're if you're an artist that's trying to make this your your career, then uh, and if you do this well, then you got a reference, buddy. So, I mean, I don't know if it means much, but. You know, I, I'm willing to give that out. So, uh, email address below. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Uh, as for those of you that stuck around, even though you're not artists and you just wanted to hear me talk, I feel kind of bad for leaving you out. So, uh, I don't know. Which Bleach character would you like to have sex with the most? Comment below. I might make a video about it. Eh, probably not. Or maybe I will. Nah, probably not. Actually, maybe. Is he kidding? I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Later, guys.